Now let us discuss this problem. This is an easy problem. So it says, as a result of isovaric heating, so once again this is isovaric heating. As a result of the isovaric heating by delta T, so delta T is given to you. So heating by delta T is given. So heating by delta T one mole of certain ideal gas so when is also given one mole of certain ideal gas obtains an amount of heat Q so the heat that is given so delta Q is given to you so delta Q is Q so heat obtained once again this is a plus sign because heat obtains by the gas find the bulk performed by the gas and the increment in internal energy and the value of gamma so you have to also find what is the value of gamma for this case you have to find what is the work performed that is dw and you have to find what is the change in internal energy for this process du so there are three things that you have to find you have been given the heat given to the system is q and temperature rise of the system is by delta T so DU is easy so let us apply DQ is equal to DU plus DW for the first law of thermodynamics and once again the process is isobaric so I can write work done is PDV are you getting work done will be PDV and the process is isobaric so I can write PDV is equal to so let us say if I apply ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRT and differentiate this equation I will have PDV plus BDP is equal to NRDT but BDP is 0 because pressure is constant so DP will be 0 so PDV is simply equals to NRDT so the work done will be in this process will be NRDT are you getting? So this is the work done. Now what will be the du? Du will be and CV dt. Are you getting or not? And CV one can write nr by gamma minus 1 dt. Now it is given in the equation the heat liberated is Q. Heat given to the system is Q. So dQ is equal to Q. Du is this nr by gamma minus 1 dt is given in the question that is delta t so this is dw du plus dw dw is nothing but nr dt so nr dt is delta t so from here if you take nr dt common so you will have nr delta t if you take common so you will have 1 plus gamma minus 1 so simply 1 by gamma minus 1 are you getting or not so from here you can write gamma minus 1 this is equals to nr dt by q are you getting then you have to add plus 1 also so you will have gamma is equals to this side goes plus 1 so you will have nr dt by q plus 1 so this will be simply nr delta t plus q by q so this is the value of gamma check yourself You see basically there is a mistake uh, here. This should be gamma minus 1 plus 1. So this will be gamma by gamma minus 1. Are you getting on? So this will be gamma by gamma minus 1. So I can write this side gamma minus 1 by gamma. This is equals to R n r delta t by q. So this will be 1 minus 1 by gamma. So let me write 1 minus 1 by gamma. Let us rub this one. So this will be 1 by 1 minus gamma this equals to nr delta t by q so if this goes this side so we will have 1 minus nr delta t by q this is equals to 1 by gamma are you getting now if I go further so what we can write is I think I can use an s phase we have written this one 
so 1 minus n r delta t by q is equals to 1 minus 1 by gamma so q minus n r delta t by q is equals to 1 by gamma so gamma will be simply q by q minus n r delta t so this is the value of gamma in this process you will have now somebody says find d d w and finding d w is easy this is you see in the first part d w is nothing but n r d t in this question n is one mole so if you want you can replace n by one so n r d t this is the d w now d u question also asks what is the d u that is n c v d t so n r by gamma minus one n c v d t now that is n r by gamma minus one into d t are you getting or not uh, basically d t is given in the question and q is also given so gamma minus one will be you see what will the value of gamma minus one you can calculate because gamma is this so gamma minus one will be so gamma minus one will be q by q minus n r d t minus one so this will be uh, n r d t divided by q minus n r d t so this will be the gamma minus one so if you plug the value of gamma minus one in this question d u will be n r delta t by gamma minus one is nothing but n r d t and this q goes up so we will have q minus n r delta t so this will be simply d u is q minus n r delta t now you you can also calculate this value using simply d q is equal to d u plus d w so d q is equal to d u plus d w you know d q is q d u you have d u have to find it out and d w you know that is n r d t so same value can you can calculate using this expression so d u will be q minus n r d t so i think all of you are able to understand this one this is a pretty a state forward question you have to find work done you have to find change in internal energy you have to find what is the value of gamma the process is also very heating so you see what is the important point in this question we have important point is i have to express du dw in terms of dt and for that what we are going to do is for dw we will write pdv process is isobaric so what i will do is i will treat p as a constant and differentiate the ideal gas equation and once you have differentiated the ideal gas equation you can express pdv in terms of nr dt and you know du as a function of dt you know dw as a function of dt then you can find gamma as a function of q so this is a straight forward question we'll discuss the next problem i think all of you are able to understand this one well in mathematics there is some calculation you have in this part there is no complex concept that is involved here let us discuss the next problem